client did, in fact, go voluntarily to the police station and make a recorded statement. The attorney for 27-year-old Randall Jerome says he needs to be released from jail to prepare a defense. Cruelty towards child, aggravated child abuse. The young father is accused of causing severe injuries to his infant. The report indicates hemorrhaging consistent with a non-accidental to-and-fro whiplash injury. Medical experts reviewed exam records and told investigators the child sustained a non-accidental brain injury consistent with child abuse. Police were notified in early July by a nurse who saw a post on Facebook. A young mother had posted pictures there asking for help. She said something with her infant wasn't quite right. Well, she took pictures of the, what she saw, put it on Facebook and asked anyone that could help her figure out what's wrong medically. The nurse believed that the um, medical issues were actually physical issues and she called us to do a well-being check on the infant. Police say the nurse calling made all the difference. She doesn't want to talk about it. In court, the state says the child has experienced some seizures and there's a concern about sight and hearing loss. Jerome's attorney says there are other explanations. There's several other individuals who could have or may have possibly been the cause or some contributing factor to what happened. But investigators say what happened to the infant happened while being watched by the man now in jail. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.